Hey everybody, this is Beth from Quilts and Lace, and I always like sharing information about tools. So today I've got a new uh, tool that I'd like to share with you guys. This product is called Seamaline Glue. Uh, it's by Acorn, and there's actually a lot of things that you can do with it. So I've got a few examples here for you. Uh, so hopefully one of them will be like, oh my gosh, that's a great product just for me. So the first thing to know about is that uh, this is a refillable bottle. It comes with a nice, very, very fine point and then the little cap that uh, you can't lose because it's attached. And what I'm gonna do with this seam aligned glue is instead of using pins, away with the pins, we're just gonna use glue. Now it does have to be uh, heat set, so we're gonna use our iron here. Um, and I'm gonna show you a couple reasons why this might be the better choice other than pins. So um, I like doing jelly roll uh, quilts and I like doing uh, pieces that are very small. So with uh, doing pins, as you know, when you stick the fabric with a pin, it can uh, add a little lump to it. Uh, you could potentially go over that pin with your sewing machine, which would be bad news. Um, so it distorts the fabric. So with the seam align glue, I can just put dots and I can space it just like I would with a pin. So I'm gonna sew these two strips together and hopefully we can get a close up on these little crystal like dots that I'm putting here. And you want to keep it inside your seam allowance. So I'm going to be doing a quarter inch seam allowance on this. So I just got to make sure that I keep it in the seam allowance. And I'm just going to go part way down here. And I'm going to make sure to put my little cap on for this glue. All right, so after I've got my dots on there and I would go all the way down the length of it, I'm just going to put my raw edges together. So I'm just going to make sure that they're lined up perfectly. And I can just lightly make sure that they're lined up perfect. Now another nice feature about this is this glue does not seep through the fabric. So you don't have to worry about it seeping through the fabric. And then I'm going to take my iron and you just want to press it for about five seconds. And then I can take that over to my sewing machine and I can start sewing. Now if I decide, oh my gosh, I got the wrong colors together or something like that, this just easily pulls out without disturbing the fabric and uh, it is also, um, uh, will wash out with water. And now we can go to the sewing machine and we can I can show you how nice it is. Now that I have um, my uh, two pieces of fabric nicely adhered to each other. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my quarter inch seam. I'm on my brilliant machine here by Baby Lock and I've got my needle set a quarter inch from the edge of my J foot or my standard foot right there. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing these two pieces of fabric together and what's nice is no pin to worry about as I sew along and my fabric is being held nicely together. And now uh, I can show you how nice it looks on the other side. So nice quarter inch seam, nice and straight, no wonkiness going on in my strips. Another example is to use it when you want to line up plaids or a stripe. So now what I'm going to do is I've got these two pieces of fabric here and each one's too short. So I would like to make this a continuous so I can line up my pattern perfectly on it. So I'm just, again, going to put a little dot inside my seam allowance. And now I can perfectly line up my stripes so I can see the backside of the stripes on it. And I can just line those up perfect. Take my iron and press it. And when I open it up, I'm going to have those stripes nicely aligned after I sew them. So cool? This 
especially for stripes and plaids, I think uh, that's a good use of this tool. Another thing is if you guys like to do applique. So here's my little heart shape that I want to do as an applique, and I've just got a little uh, four patch here, and I want to put it right in the center there. So if I had some type of fusible webbing product on the back of it and put it down there and oh my gosh, I did it crooked or something like that, it's a lot harder to pull it off and keep that webbing in place so that you can use it again. So with this glue, seam aligned glue, I can just again put my little crystal dots near the edge and a few here. And this is going to be for a raw edge applique that I can do this one for. So we're going to put that right in the center there. My items. Take my iron and press it. Okay. And now I've got it on there. Again, if I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not where I wanted it to be. I can gently peel it off and my fabric hasn't be become distorted and the fabric underneath has nothing on it. So that's nice. All right, final example is I wanna do this little four patch and I really wanna make sure that I line up my little seam there. So I'm going to take my little seam aligned glue Again, making sure that my little crystals that I'm squeezing out here, make sure I get one at the beginning and the end because that's usually where your fabric can get distorted. And I'm going to line them up, raw edges. And now when I put the sewing machine, it's not going to move. Let me do this one and then we'll go to the sewing machine. little dots there. Okay, and now we can go to the sewing machine and we can I can show you how nice it is. Oh, after I press it. <laughs> 2001, 2002. So again, I've got these nicely, the edges nicely glued together. Go ahead and lower my presser foot here using my quarter inch seam. And I'm gonna do my chain piecing. So I can't even see the glue, so I've gotta remember what side I did glue. So here we go. All right. And then especially after I do this, this is one that's gonna be really special, is lining these two up. Get my little four patch going, so isn't that nice? No shifting going on there. Another wonderful use for the seam aligned glue is do you always wanna make your little points line up perfectly? Well, with the seam aligned glue, I can put my little dot, again, making sure that it's inside that seam allowance, and I'll put one on each side. And usually I have to do three pins in order to line this up perfectly. So now, however, with that glue, I can put these together, finger lock that seam in there, because I've pressed them to two different ways. Lock it in, press it with my iron, and now I can go to my sewing machine, and we'll see how perfect my little points turn out. So cross your fingers. So again, usually I'd have to stop, pull my pins out and everything here, so this is kind of nice to be able to just go right over it. All I have to do is pay attention to my quarter inch seam. A 
and look at that beautiful intersection. Any quilter could look at that and say, hey, that's pretty darn good. So uh, a nice easy project instead of, a nice easy tool instead of using pins. Thank you guys.